Understanding non-small cell lung cancer treatments for less common mutations, ALK, BRAF, ROS1, HER2, and MET. A mutation is a change in a gene that contains the instructions telling your body how to function. People with non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC, often have one or more gene mutations. Some mutations, like KRAS or EGFR, are relatively common. Less common mutations may also affect people with non-small cell lung cancer. In the United States, several thousand people are found to have these less common mutations each year. No matter how common or uncommon your mutation is, it is important to know if a mutation is present. Knowing this helps determine the best treatment. The ALK mutation is present in about 5% of people with non-small cell lung cancer. The ALK mutation is more likely to be found in younger people, usually with adenocarcinoma. It tends to occur in non-smokers and light smokers. Drugs called tyrosine kinase inhibitors, or TKIs, are used if you have an ALK mutation. TKIs work by blocking proteins and preventing cancer cells from growing. They include crizotinib, seritinib, electinib, brigatinib, and lorlatinib. All of these are taken as pills. The BRAF mutation affects 3-4% of people with non-small cell lung cancer, most often women and people who used to smoke or currently do. A mutation in the BRAF gene can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and cancer. There are two versions of the BRAF mutation, V600E and non-V600E. Drugs that target the BRAF mutation include dibrafenib, trametinib, and carafenib, and binimetinib. Dibrafenib is a type of drug called a BRAF inhibitor. It directly attacks the mutated BRAF protein. Another protein called MEK is related. The drug trametinib attacks the MEK protein. The combination of encarafenib and binimetinib also blocks these proteins. If you have non-small cell lung cancer with a BRAF V600E mutation and the cancer has spread, you may take two of these drugs together. Immunotherapy can also be a good choice for people with BRAF non-V600E mutations. A mutation in a gene called ROS1 affects just 1 or 2 percent of people with non-small cell lung cancer. The ROS1 gene sometimes fuses with another gene, activating the ROS1 gene in a way that causes uncontrolled cell growth and cancer. This mutation is more common in women, non-smokers, and younger people, usually with adenocarcinoma. People with the ROS1 mutation do not have the EGFR, KRAS, or ALK mutation. Drugs that target the ROS1 mutation include crizotinib, entrectinib, seritinib, and repotrectinib. These may be used instead of chemotherapy, when chemo no longer works, or if cancer has spread. 2% of people with non-small cell lung cancer have mutations in a gene called HER2. A drug called trastuzumab deruxtecan is approved to treat lung cancer with HER2 mutation. Unlike some of the other targeted therapies, it is not a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, but a designer antibody. This is an antibody with a toxin attached to kill the targeted cancer cell. This drug is also used to treat breast cancer that has the HER2 protein. It is given as an IV treatment if you have already tried at least one other drug for cancer that cannot be treated with surgery or has already spread. 1 to 2% of people with non small cell lung cancer have mutations in a gene called MET. Capmatinib, tapotinib, and crizotinib can slow the spread of non small cell lung cancer with this mutation if the MET mutations are a certain type. These are taken as pills. Like every treatment, those for less common mutations in non-small cell lung cancer have side effects. These range from digestive symptoms such as nausea or diarrhea to more serious side effects such as heart and liver problems. Talk with your doctor about the benefits of taking one of these drugs compared with the chance of side effects. Your doctor can help you decide on your treatment goals. Researchers have many questions about treating non-small cell lung cancer in people with less common mutations, including which treatments are most helpful, when to use them, 
how to reduce side effects, and more. Clinical trials are an important way to learn if new treatments are effective. If you have non-small cell lung cancer with a less common mutation, ask your doctor about clinical trials. This is especially important for rare mutations as there are fewer people available to take part. A trial could improve your outlook and will help future patients and researchers.